Sam Bankman-Fried could face years in prison over FTX's $32 billion meltdown following his recent arrest in the Bahamas. The timing of his arrest, a day before he was set to testify on FTX before the House, makes this matter incredibly suspicious. Were some powerful people afraid of what he might say during his testimony? We'll get back to this in a bit, but first, let us give you a quick recap on the major breakthrough following the six weeks of financial chaos that took down one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges and humbled its 30-year-old founder, Sam Bankman-Fried. The former CEO of failed cryptocurrency firm FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried, has been arrested in the Bahamas at the request of the US government. So, what exactly are the US officials investigating here? Well, short answer. The charges against Bankman-Fried include wire fraud, securities fraud, and money laundering. The SEC also alleges that FTX has been committing fraud by commingling customer funds between Alameda Research and FTX since the very beginning. According to news sources, the US Justice Department has also been looking at whether hundreds of millions of dollars were improperly transferred out of the US to the Bahamas around the time that FTX filed for bankruptcy on the 11th of November. It has also been reported that officials were also probing whether Bankman Freed had engaged in market manipulation, leading to the $45 billion collapse of Terra, a cryptocurrency system designed to maintain stablecoins pegged to the value of the US dollar. The crypto mogul is the only person charged in the indictment and was reportedly arrested just after 6 p.m. local time on December the 12th at his luxury residence in a Bahamian resort. Bahamian officials said the Bahamas would promptly extradite Bankman Freed to the US once the indictment is unsealed and US authorities make a formal request. Bankman Freed has a right to contest his extradition, which could delay but not likely stop his transfer to the US. But what about the timing of his arrest? See, Bankman Freed's arrest comes just a day before he was due to testify in front of the House Financial Services Committee. This is extremely disappointing because it means the American public and FTX's customers will not get to see SBF testify under oath and perhaps reveal previously unknown information or persons involved with the FTX crash. This is all just speculation, but another bizarre theory that is spreading is that Sam Bankman-Fried is about to get epstein that is murdered in a way that looks like a suicide, just like Jeffrey Epstein, a man who was charged with running a massive child trafficking ring. Epstein died in prison before he could go on trial for trafficking children that were sexually abused by many high-profile wealthy associates. While authorities ruled it a suicide, many people believed he was silenced. Bankman Freed was a prominent personality in Washington, D.C., donating millions of dollars towards mostly left-leaning political causes and democratic political campaigns. Hence the term Epstein was trending on Twitter as numerous users predicted the death of SBF, obviously based on zero evidence. One tweet said, People expect him to be epstein any day now. Better hope the cameras keep working in the jail. There is no way these powerful Democrats will let him spill the beans, said another. Do you think there's something fishy going around behind SBF's arrest? Let us know yes or no. FTX unraveled quickly last month when reports called into question the strength of its balance sheet. Customers moved to withdraw billions of dollars, but FTX went insolvent as it could not keep up with the withdrawal requests because it apparently used its customers' deposits to cover bad bets at Bankman Freed's investing arm, Alameda Research. After the crash, FTX's new CEO, John J. Ray III, said in court filings and prepared congressional testimony that he had never seen anything quite like the corporate governance and documentation failures that he found at FTX. He claimed that the financial conditions at FTX were worse than at Enron, the largest financial scandal in history. Among other issues, he found that FTX had heavily commingled customer and corporate assets, losing billions along the way. In his prepared remarks, published the morning of December the 12th, he said his new team had managed to secure about $1 billion of company assets to date. As for SBF, he's recently been on an interview spree to spread the narrative that he did not knowingly misuse customers' funds. He said that he believes his millions of angry customers will eventually be made whole. 
Regardless, both the US and the Bahamian authorities are determined to take him down. The US Securities and Exchange Commission also plans to bring charges for violating their securities laws, and these charges will be filed publicly in the Southern District of New York. So, if he's convicted, there isn't much of a chance of him escaping the orange jumpsuit and decades of imprisonment.